European Neighborhood and Partnership Instrument opened new opportunities for Georgia, Armenia and Azerbaijan to develop closer cooperation with the European Union. The priority areas for cooperation, which include environmental and water management, have been agreed with European Commission and specified in the country strategy papers for the years 2007 to 2013. In the European Union, the central piece of legislation for the protection of water environment is the Water Framework Directive. It was adopted in the year 2000. The directive defines the key principles as well as the key objectives and the implementation plan for the management of water resources in the European Union. We hope that this film will help the countries of the South Caucasus to understand the European approach to water management and will facilitate integration of this approach into water management legislation and practices in Georgia, Armenia and Azerbaijan. The, the approach in the Water Framework Directive is that, that uh, you look at that uh, plant and animal life, you look at that, uh, the ecosystem, you, you good status is defined from the ecosystem that, that is naturally occurring in your river or your lake. So good status is getting very close to a natural condition, a natural plant and animal life. The Water Framework Directive requires classification of all surface water bodies into five ecological quality classes, based on monitoring of the ecological status. High ecological status means that the water body experiences no significant human pressures leading to loss of aquatic species or reduction of species density. Aquatic ecosystem is as close to its natural conditions as possible. With the human pressures growing, the ecological quality status changes from high through good, moderate and poor to bad. Moderate means that many aquatic species disappeared, but most ecosystem functions are still maintained. Poor means that almost all sensitive species disappeared, a few tolerant species dominate, ecosystem functions significantly altered. Bad means severe changes to the ecosystem structure and functions. This classification is mainly based on the biological information, such as the composition, abundance and diversity of plants and animals, and also other information such as water flow, water level, river corridor. Physical and chemical parameters such as levels of nutrients, oxygen, pH and hazardous substances in water are important, but these only pay a supporting role in interpretation of the biological information. Water Framework Directive sets out a new approach to water quality management based on the following key principles. Aquatic ecosystems of all European Union surface waters, rivers, lakes and coastal waters as well as all groundwaters are to be protected. The primary objective of the Water Framework Directive is to achieve good status of all surface waters and also groundwaters by the year 2015. This objective to be achieved using river basin management approach through the formulation and implementation of river basin management plans. Transboundary river basins require cooperation between basin countries. One of the main purposes of the Water Framework Directive is to help to reduce river pollution in a coordinated way, avoid potential conflicts between water users and to improve the water quality in the whole river basin. The Danube is the second largest river in Europe. The Danube River Basin is shared by 17 countries. The Danube River Basin Management Plan is trying to address the main transboundary issues in line with the Water Framework Directive. The plan was agreed in the year 2009. 
The preparation of the plan involved several years of hard work by many professionals from the government authorities, industries, agriculture, local communities and NGOs. River basin management is the best approach to protect water resources and to use them sustainably. Transboundary cooperation within the Danube Basin is well established and helps to address the common issues in the upstream and the downstream countries. Slovakia, which has recently become the European Union member state, provides a good example of the river basin management approach. The benefits of this approach are already being felt by many local communities. We prefer, and for the future, we suggest to prepare systems that are uh, as much, uh, I will say, uh, effective, cost-effective as it is possible per one people equivalent. In Slovakia, because we had two centralized systems, we pay it probably three to four times more than we had to pay for one inhabitant with the same quality of treated water. So that is a very important aspect and it's important to think when we are planning and preparing these projects. You will save the money and you have more money for more communities. The key part of the river basin management plans is a specific program of measures to achieve good status. The program of measures is mainly focused on water bodies that are at risk of significant alteration of the ecological quality as a result of human activities. That, that lack of, of knowledge and data should not be an excuse. You should use these methods and, and try and during this process you will identify where are the gaps so you can, can start uh, uh, filling them up. The Kura is the largest transboundary river in the Caucasus region. The Kura river basin is shared by five countries, Turkey, Georgia, Armenia, Iran and Azerbaijan. To reduce impacts on water resources, to improve water quality and water availability, effective cooperation between the Kura Basin countries is needed. The project Transboundary River Management Phase 2 for the Kura River started in June 2008 and will continue until November 2011. The main purpose of the project is to help countries of the South Caucasus to improve transboundary cooperation in water resources management, to help countries to pilot the Water Framework Directive methodology in the five smaller river basins, River Debet Krami, Rivers Akstev, Aragvi, Ganja Chai and Alazani Ganik. The objective is to draft the pilot river basin management plans and to suggest a program of measures for each pilot basin to improve the water quality. To help the countries to understand the Water Framework Directive methodology, the following key documents have been translated to Armenian, Georgian and Azeri languages and disseminated amongst the government agencies, water users and NGOs. Water Framework Directive, Directive on Assessment and Management of Flood Risks, Technical Guidance on Identification Water Bodies, Technical Guidance on Analysis of Pressures and Impacts, Introduction to Biological Monitoring of Water Quality. Armenian highlands are in the middle of the Kura Araks river basin. Geographically, Armenia is surrounded by Turkey, Georgia, Iran, and Azerbaijan, and most Armenian rivers are transboundary. Therefore, water management practices in Armenia may have a significant effect in the downstream countries. Transboundary river basin management requires cooperation between the countries. 
Cooperation involves dialogue, information sharing, and the common understanding of the monitoring data. Information technologies and the data processing software are instrumental in improving the quality of decision-making. Information technologies facilitate the pressure impact analysis, which is an important part of the Water Framework Directive methodology. At the moment, five water basin authorities are in the process of putting together water management plans. The plans are to be submitted for approval by the government in the year 2010. Everyone must realize that we all use and pollute water, and therefore everyone has a role to play in water resources management. The key authorities responsible for water management should be aware of the importance of public participation. It's not just industries which should be involved, but also ordinary citizens such as vegetable and fish farmers. Everyone has a role and everyone should be involved because water is not only precious but essential. In the Environmental Impact Monitoring Center in Armenia, state-of-the-art equipment is used to analyze water, air and soil samples. We have a very good team, all good professionals. I am proud of my colleagues and I very much enjoy working with them. One way to improve data quality is avoiding cross-contamination by using disposable sampling bottles. These have already been used once. Water quality management is the main scope of the Water Framework Directive. New water quality standards are currently being developed in Armenia. The principles of the directive show the ways to define the standards and to improve the management system. It is not easy to introduce a new way of thinking, a new methodology. I think it will not happen in a year or two, it will take longer. Take for example our two pilot river basins in Armenia, the rivers Dabed and Akstev. We are only just beginning to understand the complexity of the task for these two rather small basins. And what about the whole country? I think it will take us quite a while to introduce the approach of the Water Framework Directive into practice. Georgia is situated in the western part of the Kura River Basin. Within the Kura Basin, Georgia is bordering Turkey, Armenia and Azerbaijan, with Turkey and Armenia being upstream and Azerbaijan downstream. Therefore, water management practices in Georgia may have a significant effect in Azerbaijan. It will be a challenge for Georgia to adopt the principles of the Water Framework Directive within the next three to five years. I think that it will take more time. We should be realistic about that. New water legislation is one of the key issues. In Georgia, we are talking a lot about the need to harmonize our legislation with the EU directives. A number of projects have been implemented to help us to draft new environmental laws. But despite all efforts, progress has been very slow. We still don't have new water legislation. It's not yet adopted. The Ministry of Environmental Protection and Natural Resources is trying to align Georgian water legislation with the European water legislation. The Water Framework Directive is being